Hey everyone, George Ducker McCullis here. Welcome back to my cuisine. Before we go ahead and share today's recipe, I want to welcome a very special guest. This is my younger daughter, Anna, and she's making her debut. Anna, come here, Gukla. Hello, everyone. Here she is. Here's Anna. She's going to be helping us out today. What are we making today, Anna? We're making pastizzo. Pastizzo. Do you like pastizzo? Yes, I love it. <laughs> she loves pastizzo. Who doesn't love pastizzo? We have some old school thick macaroni, the number twos, olive oil, ground garlic, onions, ground beef, tomato paste, tomato puree, cinnamon, parmesan, breadcrumb, two eggs, nutmeg, butter, milk, and flour. All right, we've grabbed the cazzarola. We need to put some water in it, bring it to a boil, salt it, so you season it with plenty of salt. Then we put our macaroni in there to cook. Baba, Ella, Ella. while we're waiting for the macaroni to boil, don't me to start the kima. <laughs> okay. okay, we've done it plenty of times at yeah. home. Now, what I think is, uh, it looks like I'm going to be your assistant. Okay. Olive oil, dos tu. Dos tu. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add some onion, some garlic. So we're basically going to brown the onions now and we're going to caramelise them. So we, um, we bring out the sweetness of them and they have more flavour to them. Now we're going to add some tomato paste. You want to cook this out a little bit and then we are going to add the minced meat. And now we're just going to brown it off and then we're going to start adding all the seasoning. So I find that brilliant flavours in a pasitzo is if you use a little bit of cinnamon, salt, pepper. If you have a little bit of port or a little bit of comadaria at home, Add a little bit, just like I'm talking 30 mils worth, into the flavor, I promise you, it is gonna give it a different level. It is awesome. Okay, macaroni ready. The meat sauce, the quima is on, ready to go, animal. Time to start constructing our pastizzo. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna um, coat the tray with some oil, and we're going to just spread it evenly across the, the yeah. whole tray. Get the ends together. If you do this, in the end, when you cut it, you're going to have a beautiful cross section so that it presents really, really well. One thing that's going to make a big difference in the flavor of your pastizzo, I promise you, try it. We're using parmesan. If you want mezzitra, whatever cheese you like, but parmesan's got a bit of a bite to it, it's beautiful. We spread amongst every layer, whether it's in amongst every layer of pasta, the kima, before you put the bechamel, after the bechamel, spread a little bit of parmesan in it. It gives it an extra depth of flavor. If you do all these little one percenters, two percenters, three percenters, at the end of your dish, you've got a 20% better flavor. I'm gonna put the kima and the pera. The rest of the pasta, we're gonna layer on top like we did the first lot, and then it's bechamel time. So we're Let's gonna start that. by melting our butter. Now we're gonna add the flour. As you're stirring it, when you see the ribbons done, that's formed beautifully. It is ready for us now to add the milk and then we can season. Once that starts to thicken, because of the flour, it will start to thicken as it heats up. The flour is the thickening agent. We're going to add a little bit of parmesan, which is going to add that beautiful flavour to it. And now, because we've got eggs, we're going to add a couple of eggs into this. Animal, the perfect bechamel. Look at that, look at that. We are going to put a little bit of nutmeg because it gives it a beautiful flavor. Some people like cinnamon. I love the nutmeg flavor on the pasitzo and then a bit of breadcrumb and a touch of parmesan. Tora, sto furno, we've got that finished off in the oven for about, look, what you do, if you put, have it at about 170 to 180 degrees in that range, you can be guided by colour because everything is cooked in this. So I think it'll be a beautiful golden colour on the top in about 35 minutes or so. The best. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done.